the early placental mammals fed on insects, and by the middle of the Paleocene, some of these had become larger and were able to prey on other animals as well as the creodonts, an extinct group of predatory mammals which were related to carnivores. They evolved in the Paleocene and reached their greatest diversity and dominance by the Eocene, where they were the major predators in North America, Europe, Asia, and Africa. They declined in the Oligocene because by this point the true carnivores were spreading, although in Africa they remained the dominant predators through the Oligocene. There were only a few genera which remained in the Miocene, and the last creodont went extinct in Asia at the end of the Miocene. The earliest creodonts known, such as Paleonictus, are members of the family Oxyainidae. They first appear in North America, although they would later spread to Europe and other continents, and they can be recognized as primitive by their primitive teeth their elongated bodies, like the earlier mammals, and their plantigrade form of locomotion, where their heels and wrists would contact the ground, unlike the later carnivores. This family included species of Paleonictus, which became smaller during the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum, something seen in a variety of groups. The genus Oxyaena, which was slender and more cat-like, although unlike cats, they were plantigrade, uh, perhaps measuring a meter in length. The slightly larger Patriophilus, 1.8 meters in length, and while not adapted for running, perhaps better at climbing and swimming. The giant Sarcastodon, which, although only known from uh, head fossils, uh, may have been able to weigh up to 800 kilograms, so perhaps the largest carnivore of its day. Macaroides, which was the first predatory mammal with elongated canines forming saber teeth, and so a diversity of creodonts are known in this family. They were largely extinct by the end of the Eocene.